Dis distracted driving. Companions after companions have been launched to try and stop it, but for the first time, it could be soon could soon be treated equal to drunk driving by police. Yeah, like a breathalyzer test, a new bill from the state that started hands-free driving could give police the power to use what is called a textalizer. And reporter Brian Abel uh, joining us now to tell us more about this. And you spent the day with a distracted driving victim who's very much on board with this. Yes, very much so. They are saying it's about time distracted driving is treated like drunken driving. Take a look at this picture. This is what was left of Sean Dover's car after getting hit by a woman who plowed through a stop sign. When you see what his road to recovery looks like, the parallels to drunk driving victims are unmistakable. This was Sean Dover still alive after a driver hit him at 70 miles per hour a year ago. Records say she sent and read eight text messages before colliding with him at an independence intersection. Hey. Hey. Hi. This is Sean today. Six surgeries later, a feeding tube still attached, brain trauma damaging his ability to move. His partner, Jenna Walker, by his side the entire time. Distracted driving changed your life. Yes, it did. It, um, it was, it has forever changed our lives. It, it will never be the same. No matter how much he recovers, this will always impact our lives. This hand. His body and mind is improving, but there are good and bad days. This is what Sean sees each morning, reminding him of the birth dates of his 10 kids. Jenna still remembers Sean leaving for work on the morning, distracted driving, changed everything. I came outside, talked to the kids for a bit, gave me a kiss and said, I love you. Got in his car and put a seatbelt on and I remember him going up the road waving like this and the kids said, bye daddy. And you know, and that's the last time. Sean nearly became another statistic of a frightening trend. Over the last two years in Missouri, our fatalities are on the rise. This after traffic deaths on Missouri roads dropped nearly 40 percent in the decade before. We're seeing that cell phones specifically are it's an epidemic and we're going to have to do something about it. Now some New York lawmakers are trying to give police another tool to help. This is a textalizer, a roadside test that determines if a driver was using their phone. The lawmakers behind it believe that putting this in the field will make drivers more afraid to use their phones. Jenna Walker says this could be an answer to a burning question she's had ever since the crash. What can we do to change this? What, is there any technology out there, any laws, regulations, or anything we can put in place to, to make this possible to where we can stop this, we can get a handle on it because it's getting out of control. Bad. I will always be here. You know, I know you know. Now that New York bill has a long way to go before it becomes law, those opposed, they are raising a lot of questions on privacy and warrants. And the company behind it, Cellubrite, they've been rumored to be the company behind hacking the San Bernardino cell phone. Now those in favor of the bill, they say it's the same implied consent legal argument as a breathalyzer test, Justin. And those who are in favor of the bill doing something here locally now to promote this idea. Yeah, that's that's correct. Uh, this topic, it's also spraying a whole campaign by Country Hill Motors. Check it out. Here's the campaign. It's, uh, it's not worth dying today. It's not worth texting hashtag. You can see it on social media. And they challenge you to create a short video and recite a pledge that says you won't text and drive and then challenge someone else to do the same. We have customers, unfortunately, that we've lost over the years, uh, but not to other dealers, but to texting and driving, to distracted driving. Now, if you want to learn more about it, we will have a link up on our website, KSHB.com. Justin? Yeah, my wife uh, actually accepted that pledge and then challenged me, and I haven't done it yet, so now it's, uh, it's my turn so to take you, part. Are, am I going to be next, then? You might be next. All right. Stand by. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Krista, <laughs> yeah. back to you. I think we have witnesses to your pledge. Uh, the CDC is...